Jennifer's leaning Kyle McLaughlin now joined by the head coach of the Jefferson Cougars girls basketball team, Damon Smith. Coach Smith, how are you today? I'm doing okay. How about yourself? We're doing well. Doing well. Coach, uh, your team started with a loss last night to Frederick, uh, 61-31. But just in general, um, tell us a little bit about the team this year. What are some things that you're looking forward to about this season? Uh, I'm, I'm, the team is the team is young. Um, we're actually what we're looking forward. We got one senior, and that's Jasmine Taylor. Um, a couple juniors and uh, mixed in with a little, with sophomores and freshmen. Um, what I'm looking for in this team is uh, we got we have to find ourselves. We, you know, we were so reliant on McKenzie uh, from last year and Olivia. Hedricks from last year that now we have to find who's going to be the scorer on the team, who's going to be the leader on the team. That's pretty much our, our big uh, problem right now is just uh, who's going to step up in that role. Have there been any early signs throughout the preseason and into last night's game of who might those be? Uh, the early signs is probably is probably going to be the senior, Jasmine. Um, she, she, I think everybody looks to her to, to try to do a lot of the stuff since she's been here the longest. Uh, um, you have, uh, Grace Dotson, who's a junior that, that I feel that can really step up and be, uh, a vocal leader. Um, we also, we was missing, uh, we was missing a junior, uh, in Devin and Devin Gordon, um, she hasn't. Uh, she didn't play last night. Um, she's definitely going to be a vocal leader. But now we just gotta. We just gotta find. Um, we gotta find who's going to be that score. And I think. I think we have some. Some ladies that was doing that can do it. I think last night was first night jitters and playing uh, against a team that had. I think she was by six four. And I think that uh, that look shook the girls a little bit. But um, I think I think I think going forward, just playing some of these tough tougher teams that we have on the schedule, that um, we'll start finding that we'll start finding who's going to be the scorer and who's going to be the leader. Um, that's what I'm hoping. <laughs> Coach, you mentioned Jasmine Taylor, and one of the always impressive things about her game is her speed and ability to get up and down the floor. Um, how do you try to use that to your advantage this year with? Uh, her ability to get to the rim and just create problems on both ends. Well, what I'm hoping is the teams we play play a lot of man, and so and I'm not too many, not too many, uh, not too many people can you know defend that speed. Jasmine, like you said, Jasmine is fast. Uh, she was she was part of the the girls' uh, state champion team last year. Uh, track team last year, um, so Jasmine has she has that speed. She's also really good on defense. She sees it real well. So if you so if somebody throws the ball like lazy, a real lazy pass, Jasmine is going is fast enough to get to it, and she she can take it the other way. So that's what I'm looking forward in her and her game. Uh, she can also she's also started to develop a shot. Um, I think that was what what was missing in her game is her shooting, and she's starting to develop it at. Still there, Coach? Yeah, I'm still here. Yeah. Okay, I just wasn't sure if we had lost her or if that was the end of your point. Yeah. My apologies. But uh, for the team as a whole, what do you feel like are the strengths that you've seen? And maybe uh, on the other end, what are some other things that you still want to gain and grow as the season progresses, I think the strength, the strength right now is is the the tightness in the team. They're they're never they're never going to uh, get down on themselves. What I'm looking forward now is um, if you follow me throughout the years, I, I like to pressure the ball. Um, that's what that's one thing we didn't do it last, uh, very well last night, and I'm and with this team, I think we can do it. Like last year, we couldn't we couldn't play a whole lot of man to man last year, um, you know, because of certain reasons. But 
Um, this year, I think we have the the speed and the athletes to do that. But last night, just it just I don't know. We just ran up against a, a team that was that was just as fast, probably faster. Um, they was taller, and uh, I think it I think it um, shook us a little bit. But um, I'm thinking my strength is probably in my guards. I do have some very good guards. Now we just gotta we just gotta get that chemistry. Got to get that chemistry going within them. Like I said earlier, um, not having McKenzie there, not having McKenzie there as the primary scorer. So we get that going. I think um, we find that out. I think we'll be good. And our defense wise, we we have to be better. We we really do. Coach, one thing that we've talked about with all the EPAC coaches on both boys and girls side, but. In particular, on the girls' side this year, things feel very wide open um, with yeah. Spring Mills, you know, losing a lot of its talent from last year. So how how do you feel like your team can take uh, advantage of that, knowing that you've been to the state tournament before and also the fact that, you know, really each and every night any team can beat anybody? Uh, yeah, you're, you're exactly right there. It is wide open. It's a lot more wide open this year than it has been the uh, past couple years uh, because if you um, last year it was Spring Mills, the year before it was us. So, um, so this year, you really you really don't know. Is now is who has the most experience? Um, I think coaching is going to be really big from for all of us, for all all the teams. Coaching is going to be really big. It's it's going to be like a chess match. It's going to be like a chess match each and every night. Uh, and that's and that's the great thing. That's the great great thing about it. And that's why I, I love. I'm, I'm going to love this year and I, and just to be into that that atmosphere. That all right, each and every night, whoever you play, because you, if you if you saw, it just will just be the team really bad the other night uh, last week. So Hedgesville's on the come up. So you can't you can't. Uh, disregard anybody this year, and that's going to be the strength this year of this uh, this area. Whoever goes down the states, and I hope I hope down there they recognize this, but you, you never know about there about down about down there. But um, I do think our team could, if we can, like I said earlier, if we can pressure the ball, we can get up and pressure the ball a little bit, then uh, we can cause a little bit of chaos ourselves and and be right in the mix with everybody else. Since you brought it up, I'll kind of change my question and go to this one. Why, why do you think maybe that there's some potential disrespect shown around the state towards uh, the teams in the Eastern Panhandle when it comes to either seeding during states or anything else? Uh, I really don't. I really don't know. Uh, honestly, I just know a few years back we were undefeated and we got. Seven seed, um, well, Spring Mills. I think they should have been the higher seed than what they were. Um, it's just um, it was a few times Martinsburg went down there, and they. I think they should have been a higher seed. Um, but I guess I'm, I'm guessing because once we once this area once we go down there, we don't fare too well when we go down there. So I'm thinking they got they put that into account. But uh, with the with the with the schedule that we have, I, I think I all know. I think this is another reason too. Um, going down there, playing teams in state, it's a long travel for for us up here. So a lot of a lot of our games are Maryland and Virginia games, and you know they don't take that into accountability once it comes to seeding or anything. So I think that I think that's probably a big reason also. Coach, one thing that also is a little bit different about this season uh, is there's been a lot of coaching changes, and you're now the longest tenured coach in the <laughs> EPAC. Um, how does that feel? And I guess uh, with that turnover, how do you think that affects, I guess, how these different teams are going to play? Uh, honestly, I didn't even I didn't even know that until you just told until you just told me that. Um, honestly, that that feels kind of good I, to be honest with you. Um, I've always wanted to be be at Jefferson. I'm a Jefferson alum, so this is where I wanted to be, and um, I wanna I wanted to change the program. I I wanted to change the program because before it wasn't 
um, it was it was it was decent, but it wasn't it wasn't a state contending uh, program, and and we've done that. We went to two state um, tournaments, but I want I want more, <laughs> and I think the I think um, the girls want more. But um, as far as as far as uh, um, how people, I think people know how I coach now. I think a lot of people know that I like to pressure the ball, and I think they uh, and I think they 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 game plan for it. I, I love to pressure. I, I mean, I did that when I was in when I was in school, so. I wanted to I wanted to bring that that intensity here, um, so I think I think a lot of coaches know that already, especially Washington, since I know since I'm really good friends with Coach uh, Edwards, and I'm really good friends with Coach uh, with Coach uh, um, um, Ronnie over there at, uh, at Martinsburg. So they already know how I am, and 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 I think the other coaches uh, kind of do too. What are your goals that you have in place for your team? States. I mean, that's that's the biggest that's the biggest goal. I, I, that's the that's the main goal. We want to go to we want to go back to states. The girls have been talking about it uh, all off season. Uh, they actually worked really hard for it. We want to go back to states. We want to win sectionals. We want to re- win regionals and. Those are the main. Those are the three goals that we that we want that we've been working towards. All right, coach. Thank you for your time and uh, best of luck this season. Looking forward to seeing you guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate you.